My name is John Dolan. I'm the director of the New York Aquarium. On Friday morning, the 15th of April, and you'll walk into a brand new, fantastic coral reef of the Caribbean, represented by our Glover's Reef exhibit. You'll turn a corner and there will be the unfolding galleries at the Conservation Hall. And it will be the grand opening of what we hope is just the first step in a series of transformational changes here at the New York Aquarium. In the Conservation Hall, we have three really unusual, divergent, and uh, interesting habitats where we're actively engaged in saving these wild places. We have the coral reefs of Fiji, which are diverse habitats just filled with color and life. Those corals are so beautiful and there's so much work and care. The result is this beautiful live coral reef, which is just incredible to see. The next gallery is the Great Lakes of Africa. And these lakes are filled with cichlids that have diverged into this incredible mix of different habitats and lifestyles and colors and body shapes. And to know that they all have a common ancestor is fantastic. The last habitat that we have is the flooded forest of the Amazon, which is this incredible place where rivers overflow their banks, flood out through the forest, so these forests go from dry land to about six, seven, eight feet deep. Fish come out of the river banks where they are actually the ones that are eating the fruit. They're the ones that are seeding the plains. They're these huge, big, big fish, you know, herbivore fish, and they are peaceful denizens of the flooded forest. And then I think anybody carries with them the stories that you would hear in the schoolyard about piranhas. So we have piranhas in our exhibit, and I have to say, they are beautiful, peaceful, serene looking fish, but when you see those guys being fed, it's just truly remarkable. So it's a great opportunity to learn about the vast uh, conservation activities of the Wildlife Conservation Society. And it's also an opportunity for people to go from being transfixed by the individual animals in these exhibits that are in many cases jewel-like, colorful, they're so beautiful and delicate to seeing these, these systems work as a whole and it's really amazing.